tokens. Now, if the first thing that came to your mind was the little coin that lets you ride the bus, have I got a great video for you. Tokens are something that make dashboards truly intelligent. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So you've probably heard people using older reporting systems use the term running a report. Now that's not typically a thing anymore with modern BI systems. You don't have to wait until the end of the month, crunch the numbers and run it. Let me show you. Here's a dashboard that I created using Dundas BI. I have a chart here in the bottom left hand corner. And this one has the ability for me to set a to and from date that I want to see. So if I click on it, I can use the calendars to select from a day to another day. This isn't always something you want to see. You don't necessarily want to show all data by default, and you don't necessarily want to have this thing hard-coded to a specific set of dates. So what we do is we use these things called tokens. You can see these down arrows here. The tokens allow me to set a start and from date that's actually intelligent. So if I say beginning of current quarter, April gets inserted. What happens quarter two? Well, because I've used a token, it's actually intelligent enough to automatically roll this chart over to the next quarter when that time comes. You can also have an end token that's customized as well. The end token also has one that'll cover the entire range. So maybe I just want to know what the last 30 days look like. And it's a sliding window where I'm always able to see the last 30 days. So that's really useful. Every time I open my dashboard or report, the dates that are going to be shown are correct and based on what's important to the viewers of this dashboard. Now there's a couple more things that you should know about customizing tokens because these are incredibly powerful. When I select a token, I have an advanced option. So you can actually do interesting things like the start of this token is going to be the beginning of the current month, but the end of this token is going to be maybe the end of the current week. That's one week ago. Maybe my data takes a little bit of time before I should be presenting it. Sometimes things need to be aggregated, things need to be added in, and it doesn't necessarily make sense to always show the most up-to-date data. So I've now constructed a window where it's current quarter to the most recent date minus a week. There's a lot of flexibility here, and you can do this with every one of these tokens. You can also add your own tokens by scripting them. So this one here, and notice how the icon is a little bit different? I've added this and it runs a script that will calculate what the last hour is. So this is a custom one that I wanted to see. Now tokens are also good for non-dates. This dashboard here has the ability to choose different accounts or different projects. With this dashboard, I can click on projects. I can select projects that are interesting to me. So maybe these are ones that I'm going to use on a regular basis. And I can actually save this selection as a new token. So even with non-date data types, you can contextualize your dashboard and make it intelligent for yourself just for easy use within your own filtering. Now let's go back to the previous dashboard. There's a lot of token options available here. And as I click on it, you can see that I may not want to have every one of these. If I know that my data is only going to be a quarter in length and everything else we wipe and is stale and not important to anyone, it doesn't make sense to keep all these tokens you do have the option to remove the ones that don't make sense for your users. Make sure that you clean this up because the last thing you want to do is have your users come in and select things that are give them either stale data or data that no one cares about or even worse, just a blank dashboard. Now I've got one more really cool example to show you. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to bring in a layer that I had already created. Now with this layer, if I go to view, you can see that I added shortcuts. You've probably seen these on some of the Google Finance, that type of thing is a really popular way to use this method. So quick selections for tokens, five days, 10 days, one month, three month, you could add whatever you want. But the point is these are custom scripted tokens. So as I click on it, you'll see that it's just gonna change the date that I wanna see. And if I go to edit mode and view, you can see that we've simply added a little bit of script to the click event of a label and that's just setting the tokens for me. So this will work exactly like the previous token that I showed you. It will still float with time as people open up the dashboards. It'll always be relevant, but it's just a different interface if you wanted to provide something a little different than the dropdown. 
So that's it. I hope you like the tokens. It's actually one of my favorite features that is very often overlooked by a lot of people. Most people think these are just quick selections that can be made and they don't have that floating window with time, keeping the, your dashboard relevant. Now, if you like what you're seeing, please click that live demo button. We'd be happy to give you either a walkthrough of the application or give you the ability to download and try out Dundas BI for yourself. And as always, if there's any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Ask Jeff at Dundas.com.